Hi guys, it's the Island Girl and I'm back with another video for you today. And today I'm checking out 10 best places to visit in the Netherlands. So this is a travel video. I'm getting this from Toropia. Alright? So we're going to get right into this one. So if you're new to my channel and it's the first time here, come on in. Right back, put a smile on your face and enjoy. To all my regular schmegular day one, sweetie pie, sweetie pools, come on in. Right back, put a smile on your face and enjoy. Alright people? So let's get into this video. So, quick question. No. Yes. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with these 10 places that were shown in this video. If these would be your pick as well. If not, drop a, a link in the comment section and say, Island Girl, check this out. This is a better video for you to check out for, for different places that are is more, it's better to visit, more beautiful, and the list goes on. All right, guys? Enough chatting from me. Let's get into this video. Here we go now. Here we go with the music. Man, this is beautiful. Just the aerial view for these is really amazing. The Netherlands is a densely populated country, in part reclaimed from the sea, with about half of its land lying below sea level. Many tourists only come to the Netherlands to visit Amsterdam, but Holland has plenty to offer outside its capital. Crisscrossed with canals, the flat landscape is perfect for cycling, Ooh. with historic town centers and classic windmills sprinkled across the country. During springtime, the flower gardens become great tourist attractions, oh. providing a bold spectacle of vivid colors. Here's a look at the best places to visit in the Netherlands. Okay. We're going to dive right into it. I'm telling you. bridge guys I would be peeing my pants just driving across the bridge like that I can't look at just water on both sides not my style can't do it <laughs> I'm sorry guys that's just me I can't do it number but 10 Gouda Gouda is a typical Dutch city with lots of buildings and pretty canals and is a popular destination for a day trip thanks to its great rail and highway connections the city is famous for its cheese, syrup waffles, candles, and its clay pipes. Attractions in Gouda include the beautiful 15th century town hall and the amazing glass windows in St. Youngskirk. The compact city center is entirely ringed by canals and is a mere five minutes walk from the station. I like the fact that she's showing different sites in Gouda. I hope I did not mispronounce it. Please, I'm sorry if I did. But I realize a lot of the videos that I've watched that um that cause since I've been diving into the Netherlands is that they always talk about your guys' cheese. They're all about your cheese. That's one thing that always stands out, I notice. That's okay. Oh, that's one thing I notice. Okay, let's move on to I'm telling you, it's so beautiful to me. Let's move on to number nine. Here we go now. Number nine, Rotterdam. The second largest city in the Netherlands, okay. Rotterdam is home to one of the biggest and busiest ports in the world, hmm. with numerous waterways crisscrossing the city. Having sustained considerable damage during the Second World War, the city is now characterized by futuristic and innovative architecture although there is still an underlying grittiness to the place. Okay. Rotterdam is a lively and diverse place with great museums, cultural attractions, and of course, fantastic dining options befitting of such a large metropolis. That is beautiful, I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, that's nice. Nom, 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 nom. That's just... Interesting. Wow. Ooh! 
look at that building right there. Look like a, a huge pencil. Oh. This is interesting. Oh. Are most of the, most of, are, are most of your houses looking like that, guys? Cause, oh, look at this, man. So beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, the nightlife. Look at the, 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 ooh, number eight. Number eight. This right here is pretty. It is so pretty. I ain't gonna lie. A while ago, that shot for the night, uh, and then when I got that, that view into, I don't know if that's your attic, when the sun is beaming into it, oh, it's beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Number eight. eight. Zanze Chance. Zanze the Zanze Chance. Chance is an open air conservation Zanze. area and museum about 20 minutes from Amsterdam. It displays the traditional architecture of the area from the 17th and 18th century wow. and contains black and green traditional wooden houses, several functioning windmills, and craftsman workshops, which are open to visitors. The windmills performed a wide range oh. of industrial duties, including wood sawing, threshing grains, and for the production of things like seed and nut oil. Interesting. I just realized a while ago that the, the bridge lift up for the whatever is taxiing in the water to get by that's pretty green oh green and black oh no that's beautiful interesting wow the more i watch the more i'm intrigued the more i want to visit <laughs> this is really beautiful guys man i like the color scheme Oh, this is so nice. I love the greenery as well. This is the greenery is really good. Okay. Look at these windmills, man. So huge. Golly. The music number, number seven. seven. Utrecht. One of the oldest cities in the country. Utrecht's winding canals twist their way around its delightful medieval center, which has the arrestingly beautiful cathedral towering above it. Although the sprawling suburbs do not make the best impression as you enter the city, its tangled web of roads are soon forgotten once you get a feel for this lively place with its fun atmosphere. Thanks in part to its huge student population, the city has loads of cheap and cheerful bars and cafes, ah. as well as lots of great eating options. This looks real. Ooh, is that a university? Cause that right there looks amazing. Oh, the castle. Oh man, what is this? Is it, like I said, is it a university or what? Number, Number six, six, Maastricht. Maastricht. Located in the southernmost tip of the Netherlands, Maastricht's proximity to Belgium and Germany makes it a popular destination Ooh. for citizens of both nations as well as the Dutch themselves. A vibrant place, its streets thrum with life. Mm. The city is home to a multilingual and multicultural population, as exemplified by its large student body hailing from all around Europe. As such, it is a mix of cultures and very different from other Dutch cities. It's beautiful. This is just beautiful. Period, point blank. No question going on. It is so beautiful. And I love how clean it is. If you notice, you don't see garbage on the roadside. It is clean. I appreciate that. Wow. Everybody walking, you know, look family oriented. And then a bunch of cars driving about. I like this. I really do. Number, Number five. five. Kinderdijk. 
Kinderdijk is a beautiful landscape of empty marshes and waterways near the city of Rotterdam. Okay. To drain its excess water from the polders, which are situated below sea level, 19 windmills were built here around 1740. Oh. They have been well preserved to the present day and can still be used, although enormous mechanical pumps have taken over their task. In summer, tall reeds line the canals, lily pads float on the water, mm. and bird calls break the silence. It's a wonderful and quintessentially Dutch landscape to wander through. Look, I, I can just imagine just going through. These windmills are huge and the time frame that they were built and they're still well maintained. That's just amazing. Look, look at these, all these, are they, are these called crocs? What are they called? Because I've always seen them. And I had the impression that's that's all you guys wear, majority of the time. So I might be wrong about this too. But that's something that you always see display when when people are talking about Dutch, you always see those those shoes. So let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong about that guys as well. But look at this scenery, look how beautiful it is. Number, Number four. four. The Hague. The Hague. Though not the capital. The Hague is the seat of the Dutch government and is oh. referred to as the International City of Peace and Justice because so many organizations devoted to world peace can be found here. Oh, okay. This bustling city of old world charm is home to numerous museums that house some of the world's greatest art collections. The Hague also is known for its seaside atmosphere with great beaches and dunes that stretch along the coast for as far as you can see. That must be amazing man oh look at this view this is what I cannot get over the view it is so beautiful and I understand that there's a lot of water as this girl cannot swim but I'm here for it it's beautiful I'm gonna learn to swim I need to look look at this man all these aerial views are just amazing to look at period quite blank just amazing. Ooh, now this is picture perfect. Man, wow. This is, oh. Uh, look at this. Number it it looks like a fairy tale. A Number three. day trip destination from Amsterdam. Yep. It is easy to see what makes Delft such an attractive option. With its lovely medieval center and picturesque canals crossed by brick bridges and lined with trees, the city is quaint and peaceful. Its most famous son, the painter Johannes Vermeer, is just one of many who has sung its praises over the ages. Famous for the distinctive wow. blue and white tiles and ceramics that are produced here, visiting the Deltware factories ah. is popular among tourists. But despite all the beautiful old buildings, it is the atmosphere, rather than any particular attraction, that makes it worth visiting. Interesting. So you guys, right, Delph, I hope I said that correctly. Blue and white, even the arm, the boat on the canal, they're in blue and white. So is this a, like a blue and white little city? So that's what it seems like. What is this green thing that is laying on top of the... Is it moss or number leaves two. that are... Tulip Ooh, field. number two. Stretching endlessly into the distance, the Netherlands' colorful tulip fields are one of its most beloved oh. sites. Ever since the late 16th wow. century, when the beautiful bulbs first arrived and tulip mania struck Europe, visitors have been attracted to its fantastic flower beds and lavishly landscaped gardens. By far the biggest and best of its flower parks is Kuchenhof. Home to around 7 million tulips, daffodils, and roses. Cycling around Holland's fetching fields is a delight, with loads of great photos to be had of pretty purple, orange, and red flowers waving in the wind. Wow. Wow. This right here is beautiful. Oh my word. This is beautiful right here. Got it. Man, this make my heart melt. Let my heart feel at peace. It made my heart feel good. I'ma pause right here. That right there, just looking at all them two lips, man, and all the different colors spreading as far as the eyes could see. 
It's beautiful. It's amazing. I ain't gonna lie. You can't take that. Look, listen. But that's millions. Of, that is that is awesome. Awesome. I don't know how you guys keep it up, but oh baby. Yeah, and I'll continue. Moving on to number I can see why number tulip the, the flowers is in second place. Let's see if it deserves second place or first place. Let's go into number one. One. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a pleasant known city by many by meandering canals lined with tall, narrow row houses. It is the city where Anne Frank kept her most yep. famous diary, so visiting the house where she wrote it is a must. This Venice, Venice of, the, of North the North also is a city of great art, beginning with the Rijks wow. Museum, home to great European masterpieces, Rembrandt's house, and the more modern Van Gogh Museum. Take a break from sightseeing to tour and sample Holland's beer and the Heineken Brewery. I did not know you guys had a Heineken Brewery, but I could think that you like Heineken because I love Heineken. <laughs> that means I'm, I'm part Dutch. <laughs> guys, that right there is amazing. I'm not going to lie. And... I also know, look at the bicycles going by, man. I'm telling you, my heart warms when I see this. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. Number one, I should have figured that number one would have been Amsterdam. And the reason why I say that is because Amsterdam is a place that you constantly hear people talk about. It's always Amsterdam, Amsterdam. They don't really necessarily talk about anywhere else in the Netherlands because everybody always say Amsterdam, Amsterdam. If you want to visit? That's where you hear people say, I'm going to Amsterdam. But look at this, man. It's beautiful. It looks amazing. I know I keep repeating myself, but I can't take that from you guys. It looks really amazing. Not to mention, I did a video the other day and that's when I found out Anne Frank that you can visit the place, the room that she was in, and wrote her diary. I did not know that until I did that video the other day. This was interesting. The view. L listen, they um, it it just it just look amazing to me. Overall, period, pipe black. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with these 10 picks that was here. Let me know in the comment section if there's somewhere different. You say, Anna girl, like I said, there's better places to look at here in the Netherlands than the ones that were shown here. They, these would be my 10 pick. Let me know about your food because I'm a foodie over here and I want to know what kind of food you guys eat and what you guys are really, really into. <laughs> When it comes out the food, it's the island girl and I'm running out of here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to do what? Rock back. Relax. Continue to put a smile on your face and enjoy life. Love you guys and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.